Hello Idlers, this is your Colonel speaking and ladies and gents we have new events. So we're going to check them out really quickly. First of all of course we go to our mailbox and uh, the daily, daily reward is going to be Super Wishing Coin times 1 and Gems times 150. So uh, that's kind of nice. We're going to get Gems this week. Uh, they did this, did they do this in the last Wishing coin event? I think they did. Which is kind of nice. I like getting gems. And uh, maybe those will be useful. We'll see. But anyway. Well, gems, well, gems are always useful. But anyway. And of course, Trial of the Champion is going on. So obviously, it's the Wishing Fountain event this time around. And I did get all of my uh, we got nearly 2,500, but as I said before in my last video, that, uh, as a free-to-play player, your base you will generally get around, you know, 2,500 is about the ceiling, I guess, of uh, of items for this event. And I'm kind of tempted. I don't know if I want. I kind of want a scary, but I don't know. It's not really that important. I have enough to E5 a scary right now, and I'd like to get enough to get another E5 scary, but for now, that's not really important. So we're going to get the maximum number of orbs that we can get here, which is 8, and then uh, how many more do we have? Let's see, we have 65, so I guess... What do I want to do? Do gold, I guess. Yeah, that's good. That will that will leave us a single uh, Freddy Bear as a souvenir, I guess, of this event. So that's what we'll do. And uh, so we're done with the sleepless maze. And. Uh, Next up, we're going to go to the wishing... F oh, well, I guess we'll go to the value packages here. So, we've got... Uh, for ninety nine ninety nine, you can get yourself a Garuda copy. And she is amazing. But I'm not, <laughs> but I'm not sure she's worth ninety nine ninety nine. At least not to me. But, if that's your thing, get yourself a Garuda copy. But anyway... Uh, of course, we get Super Wishing Coins and Wishing Coins uh, in the value packages this week, as well as gems. And rumor has it that there is a Super Wishing Coin event coming, along with uh, the Thanksgiving, uh, the Black Friday weekend, I guess, Black Friday event. So, take that for what you will, but basically you can get super wishing coins here if you uh, if you find yourself short if you want to save up for that supposed event but anyway uh, there's also a new skin here for Shia at the 69.99 level again not sure it's worth it but uh, let's check out the sword of storms shall we oh wow that is really nice looking skin I must say but of course, I'm not building Shia, so uh, it's not really going to work out for me. But anyway, it gives her 4% uh, damage reduce, 4% block, and 6% holy damage. So it's kind of a more defensive skin, and uh, it's pretty nice. Very nice looking. And it, did Shia, did they, did they reduce Shia's art? I don't know kind of looks like they did, but maybe not. Anyway, it says the earth trembles as soon as it is unsheathed. The sky thunders when it is fully drawn. The ocean parts at the force of a swing. This is the sword of storms. So there you go. Pretty cool. Uh, I like. I do like the skin, but it's it's kind of close to her to her regular skin, honestly, isn't it? It's it's pretty close, but. Anyway, so there's that, and then of course you got your your other value packages here, your lower value packages, and uh, 
Anyway, we're doing the Wishing Fountain event this time around, so we've got, uh, I guess, so for the first 200 here, you're going to get Wishing Coins and Orbs, so, uh, so you're going to get a total of 8 Super Wishing Coins and six orbs and then of course if you get the full completion you're going to get a total of eight orbs so that's eight orbs and eight uh, super wishing coins so that's really nice and of course along with your full completion at 300 you're going to get a copy of uh, starlight as well as five glorious relics so that's great and of course you can complete this event four times if you really want those four copies of uh, four copies of Starlight. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is your your Wishing Fountain event. And, um, of course, you know, the orbs will help you out in the upcoming uh, Profit Orb event. And uh, the Wishing Coins will come in handy for the Supposed again, it is it's a, a supposed super wishing coin event for Black Friday, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. It's just a rumor. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's your wishing coin event, and you know, of course, for for a full completion, you know, Starlight isn't the greatest hero ever, and you don't ever get a really amazing hero on on this event, but. But it is worth picking up if you can do a full completion. And uh, oh, here we go. Here's the lucky, lucky wishing fountain event. What's this? Let's see. Uh, you can use wishing coins to claim rich rewards. Spin gems to enable the reset button, which will give you another ten rounds to earn quests. That's interesting. So is this just is this just wishing wishing coins? I guess it is. Oh, okay, I see. So draw twenty times at the wishing fountain, and then uh, so what? You can do that ten times, I guess. So if you do two hundred times at the wishing fountain, uh, you will uh, basically complete this part of the event. And then uh, you can draw five times at Super Wishing Fountain. So if you do 50, 50 spins on the wishing on the Super Wishing Fountain, you get these. You'll max out these rewards. And then if you want to reset for a thousand, you can do these rewards again. I guess, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So maybe this is the Super Wishing Fountain event that people were talking about. It could be, um, but anyway, this goes for what 164 hours. So it goes for for the full week. I gotta I gotta think that this is this is the super wishing fountain event that people were talking about. Uh, I don't think that there's going to be another one for Black Friday, but I could be wrong. So don't quote me on that. But I think I'll be probably be spending all of my Super wishing coins on this event because I think this is it, but anyway, could be wrong, we'll see. But you get some nice, you get some nice dust and monster materials in this event, which is nice because, of course, we're all trying to catch up on our stones, our hero stones, and our, uh, our monsters at this point, so those are all very useful. And lastly, let's go to the shelter mission here. Oh, I guess not lastly. you got Grey Dwarf's Blessing as well. We'll cover that in a second. But, first of all, for the shelter mission you got, uh, for the for the fortress faction, you're going to get an Ormus here. And, of course, you have to have uh, four mages. I have two so far. Four four-star mages for the uh, fortress faction in order to get this almost copy because there, there aren't 
almost as a priest, but there aren't any four-star fortress priests, so they use mages instead. So you're going to need four mage, four four-star mages, as well as a uh, a five-star hero here to trade for Ormus. And it's worth it because basically Ormus is going to go in your bag. So this is like taking one of these heroes out of your collection and putting it in your bag, which is nice for heroic miracle and such. And it also saves uh, it saves your space in your collection. Which is nice. And of course you're also going to get the two pieces of four star orange gear here as well. For doing this, for doing this shelter mission. Oops. No. We're not at that stage yet are we? So then for the shadow faction here. Uh, the hero is the uh, corpse demon. Which is, he's nice. He's a, he's a good pretty decent hero for the fortress or for the shadow faction but of course he's sort of third fiddle behind uh, wood behind Horus and Gustin and uh, jo jo Jorah so currently so he's kinda kinda behind all of those but anyway you need uh, four, four shadow Warriors, which we have here, and so maybe we should just pull the trigger on that, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. So we'll go ahead and put all four, four of these in, and then we'll get. Uh, I guess, do we want to keep? Yeah, I think we're going to do this, this one here. Do a grumpy corpse. Yes, we're sure. And there we go. We get our prizes. Very nice. So we got that one out of the way. Next we have Heart Watcher for the for the forest faction. And Heart Watcher is a really great hero, especially for boss damage. She's not that great in PvP, but for boss damage she's a must-have, basically. So we need assassin. We need forest assassins here. Oh, and look at that. We have a whole lot of them. So let's go one, two, three, four. Perfect. And then uh, who do we want to sacrifice here? Let's see. I guess we'll dump this girl here. We don't really need her. Or do we? Do you need that for Garuda? I forget. No, Garuda... What do you need for Garuda? Let's see. Garuda takes rhinos. Okay. That's fine then. We don't really need the archer girl here. So let's see. Go back to shelter mission. And we'll go one, two, three, four. And sacrifice her. And we'll get our Heart Watcher and our Four Star Gear here. So if you do all the regular factions here, if you get all four regular faction heroes, you're basically getting two full sets of Four Star Orange Gear, which is nice. So lastly, oh there we go, I'm glad I didn't buy that scary copy earlier, because you can get one here. So... Uh, for the Abyss faction, it's you're going to get a scary copy here. So, and I only have a single, uh, a single mage for the Fortress faction. So, we can't do this one right away. So you need four, uh, four Fortress, uh, four Abyss mages, and uh, I think Illyria is the only one, isn't she? Yeah, because Norma's a priest, isn't she? So yeah, I think... Uh, so uh, so it's a little harder to complete this this particular shelter mission because uh, you have to basically get four Illyrias in order to complete it. That's the only Abyss Mage. So... Um, so getting the scary completion is going to be a little more difficult. 
uh, just keep that in mind but uh, of course it is doable so then we go on to our um, our dark and light affections here and basically we've got dust moja and a uh, for the dark faction and Gierke for the light faction and I don't generally I don't re generally do these uh, I don't recommend doing them because you basically you're trading two two five star heroes for another five star hero for, for a single five star hero so unless you really really need that five star hero in your bag for some reason maybe for the heroic miracle or something something like that I don't recommend doing this because it's just you know, it's just a waste. You're basically spending two. You know, even if you spend two food heroes, uh, you still, you know, still Desmoja and Gierke are pretty much food heroes anyway. So it's just kind of a waste of uh, of food heroes, in my opinion. And of course, you do have to spend another two thousand gems on top of that. So it's just not. It's just not worth it. It's too expensive. But if you really, really want that Desmoja in your bag or that Gurky, then I guess you can pull the trigger on this one if you'd like. But anyway, that's basically the shelter mission in a nutshell. So I still have to get another couple of mages for the fortress faction and uh, three more Alarias in order to get my. Uh, in order to get my scary, and I'd say out of all of these, scary is probably the best hero. Um, like I said, uh, Heart Watcher is pretty much essential for boss damage, um, and then Ormus and uh, Corpse Demon are not really top tier heroes, I would say. I mean, they're useful, obviously, but uh, they're not top tier by any means. Anyway. Lastly, we have the Grey Dwarf's Blessing, and of course you can get, you can trade in 4-star gear, especially, you know, if you get it, if you get that 4-star gear from the Shelter Mission, you can trade it in here for 5-star gear, but I generally don't like to trade in 4-star gear here, because you can just uh, do it, uh, you can get, you can use it in your Blacksmith for cheaper, basically, and get those 5-star get that five star gear here instead but what I do like the uh, the Grey Doors Blessing for is for trading in five star gear into six star gear that's really useful and it's worth it for 60 million gold and 2400 gems and uh, then of course if you have six star gear that you want to trade into class specific that's really nice to do here as well so you got the uh, you got all five different classes here that you can get class specific gear for, and uh, that's always nice. So we'll see if I have you know if I can put swing it this time. I might I might get the six star gear set, but um, I don't think I'll be doing class specific this time around. But I might. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Those are all of your events this time around, everybody. So now we're going to check out uh, we're going to check out the new stats on Aspen. Actually, first let's go over to the let's do the wishing fountain here because I haven't done mine tonight. Now, uh, like I was saying, you do you can get the. Uh, well, as I've said before, I should say, we have, uh, if you have the 10 spins for 8 coins enabled, like I do, um, and I believe you get that at, at VIP 3, which is a good reason to get your VIP 3, but um, if you have that enabled, then obviously the 300 spins turns out comes out to 240 wishing coins instead of 300 but um, in addition to that of course you have your you get your two free coins per day 
uh, throughout the event. So that's another 14 coins, I guess. Uh, so, so the actually completing the event uh, really takes you know a little less, a little under, like around 230 uh, wishing coins. But anyway, let's see. I guess should I? I've already pulled this off the wheel, but I think we're just going to go ahead and spin here and see what we get. Alright. 250 gold is pretty decent. That's my mid-range gold. So we'll spin a few times here until we get the four-star hero shards, I guess. Or the fat moo, either way, you know. Whichever comes first, I guess. Oh, there we go. There are our abyss hero shards. Let's see. Should we go any? Should we go further? Yeah, I think we're going to stop there for tonight. That's good, I think. So and now let's go. So let's go see. It looks like we got our. What did we get here? So, we got, so yeah, so the, so all of these count towards the lucky wishing fountain event, and then of course we got our 50 point reward here, and some more lucky wishing fountain events, so that's nice. So you can actually work on the, um, on the wishing fountain event and the lucky wishing fountain event at the same time. So if you see there, we've done... Uh, three out of ten rounds on our regular wishing fountain, and then we've got we haven't done any super wishing fountain yet. I don't know. Let's go see if we can get anything good on the wheel yet. Oh, we got a Garuda. Yeah, okay. That's definitely worth spinning for. So we'll, we'll do this a couple of times here. And we got the dark shards, that's nice. And some monster blood and some scrolls. Let's do one more. One more go here. Oh, we got a lot of dark shards there. And orange shard, orange artifact shards. So that's really nice as well. So some decent spins there. We didn't get our Garuda, of course, but oh, we got some other good stuff. And again, let's see, we get... Yeah, we get some stuff from our lucky, lucky wishing fountain event. So that's nice as well. So I guess we can go here and see. Let's see. We got um. Come on, game. There we go. So let's see. So yeah. So now we've done four out of ten on the super wishing fountain. And we're done 3 out of 10 on the regular Wishing Phantom. So there we go. Not bad. And then, uh, let's see. I was going to I was gonna go here and see if we can... No, not here. Let's see. Well, first of all, we have to go to our bag. And we've got, we've got an orange artifact off of the, off of the wheel. So let's see what we get there. Oh, it's the uh, it's the cloak, it's the cloak of invisibility, which we don't really need. That that has block. We already have one of those fully leveled. But anyway, uh, now what? Yeah, I was gonna go here and see if we got. Let's see, we need some. We need some four star uh, mages for the fortress faction. And we don't have any just lying around here, so I think we're gonna go use these here. Uh, 
and no mages there, unfortunately. And then what else do we need? We needed uh, needed Alirias, don't we? We can get one here, but we didn't get one. So let's see what else. So that's the best way to get uh, your shelter missions done is to get these four-star uh, faction-specific shards out. But since we didn't get any there, we're gonna have to go. We have to use these shards here, and I don't think we have a whole lot of space yet, do we? Now we have. We can get what seven more, I guess. So let's do that. And the game's gonna think about it. For for a second, there we go, okay, see I'll just go like that, and let's see, we got one Illyria there, and uh, we got one Sierra, so we just need one more uh, Fortress Mage, and one more, uh, two more Illyrias to finish our shelter missions, so we should be able to do that at some point. See. Can we fuse anything? We're going to have to fuse some stuff, I guess. So yeah, we can do Iron Bembe's here. Do we have enough? Three material? Yeah, we do. So let's go ahead and fuse up an iron bambi right here. One, two, three. And do the robot there. So that frees a little bit of space, and now we can go back to our bag here, and let's see, we got nothing, nothing we needed, unfortunately, but I think we can fuse some more things now. Can we? Let's see. Oh, we don't have enough there. Surely we have shadow. Yeah, there we go. So, let's see. He takes the girls, doesn't he? So, what? who else takes the girls? Is it... It's not him. It's that guy, okay. So... We'll get rid of him, and that um, and what else? Get rid of those, I guess. But anyway, I don't want to bore you with all of that, so let's go ahead and look at Aspen's stats now, really quickly. Gotta go here. Oh, I gotta go there. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. So I wrote all his stats, his old stats down so I can compare. And uh, basically, let's see. He has the same base stats, of course. Uh, I believe the only the only upgrade I've seen where the, where the base stats changed was... Uh, who was it? I guess it was... No, I can't remember. Maybe it was Shia? Was it, did her speed change? No, I can't remember. Somebody's speed went up a little bit, but... Anyway... 
So for Aspen starting out here, we got um, his his dread uh, dreads coming, his active skill uh, before it dealt 206% of attack damage, and now it deals 260% which is a nice little uh, boost to the attack damage. Uh, still hits four random enemies, and uh, does an extra 20% of the target's current HP with a 1500% cap. So that's the same. That part's the same. So it's just gone up 260% of attack. And then, let's see, 50% uh, chance to horrify uh, for two rounds. And oh, but then this is new. This is new here. So basically, uh, so if the t so fifty percent chance to horrify for two rounds, and after that, if the target's HP is below thirty-five percent, then he deals an extra two hundred and twenty percent of damage and restores HP by one hundred percent of damage dealt. So that's different. So before uh, before his active skill would actually give him a shield. So he doesn't get a shield anymore but uh, he does deal the extra damage and heal himself uh, if the target's HP is below 35%. So that's really nice. And I guess I don't know, I, I, I'm not sure if this is, if he only does that that abil ability to the ones he's horrified, or if it's to all the targets, but I don't know. But, uh, but basically, I mean, he has a chance to do that to four random enemies, so, uh, so chances are his, he's going to heal quite a bit, he could heal... I mean, if all four random enemies go down below 35%, then he hits them all again and restores HP. So that's pretty ridiculous. So he can do a, so uh, he can deal a lot of damage now, a lot more damage for sure. And then uh, with Dark Storm, let's see, HP 40%, attack 20%, crit 35%, and armor break. That's the same. So Dark Storm has not changed at all. And now Rage of Shadow has basic attack, basically. Let's see. So it targets the enemy with the lowest HP, which um, before he would hit three random enemies. So now he's only hitting one enemy, but it is the enemy with the lowest HP. And it deals 200% of attack damage against that target. Whereas before he was dealing 120% attack damage to three random enemies. So this could be better, depending. Uh, let's see, and he deals an extra 15% of the enemy's lost HP. Uh, that's new as well. So he hits the en he hits the enemy with the lowest HP for 200% of attack damage, and deals an extra 15% of the enemy's lost HP with a 1500% cap. So that's pretty nice. Um, and then has a 100% chance to horrify the target for two rounds. So before he would do 35, he had a 35% chance to horrify all three of those random targets before. So, uh, so he's only going to hit one target, but he is going to horrify that target 100% uh, of the time, if he doesn't kill it first, which is what happened. I'll show you here in, um, in a second. I had a, what, I had an arena battle where he, he basically just uh, killed the lowest HP target outright, and of course, his uh, his horrify didn't go off then. And so again, I don't know if this part is 
only if he horrifies the target or if it just deals this damage to the target. Well, I guess, I guess he'll, he will horrify the target if he doesn't kill it, right? And if he does kill it, then this next part doesn't matter anyway. But anyway, so if the target's HP, again, if the target's HP is below 35%, he deals an extra 160% of damage and heals himself again. So that's really nice. And then uh, lastly, let's see. Okay, so he does still get shields with the active or the basic attack. So they both build up, sh build up shields and um, and he gets 15% of attack and 15% of crit damage um, which was the same as before but it was only on his uh, it was only on his basic attack before so now with his active at skill he also gets plus 15 attack and plus 15 crit damage so that's nice. That's a good. Uh, that's a good buff. And then he also gets a shield every time he does an active or basic skill. Again, it used to he used to only build shields with his uh, basic attacks. So now he also builds shields with his active skill. And uh, it's what is it? 20% control immune and 6% damage reduce. That's the same as it was before, uh, but obviously uh, it's better because he, he does it on his active skill, skill as well. And then whenever an en enemy is horrified, he also uh, heals, which is nice. So if we go back to his active skill, uh, he heals on his active skill uh, as well as when he horrifies something. So that's really nice. Now did he heal before? I thought he healed before, but... Yeah, I thought he healed before. Is that only when he killed something or something? I'm not sure. But anyway, obviously he do he deals more damage now and has better healing with uh, his attacks. And then uh, he, he gains shields quicker because he gains shields with his active skill as well. So, uh, pretty nice upgrades. And of course... I have I have an Aspen here which is nice so hopefully he'll benefit from all these upgrades I, w I was thinking of changing out changing him out for my Amon Ra but I think I can put that off a little longer now with his new upgrades so that's really nice so anyway that's Aspen and uh, and I have been doing some fusions and such, and I do have enough now to go ahead and finish the shelter mission, so I will. So let's get our... Uh, I guess we'll do one... Does it matter? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we will trade in... Who should we swap in? Let's see. I guess we'll do a Sierra. No, we have two Time Wizards, so we'll just go ahead and... Oh, we could six star those, though, couldn't we? We'll use Sierra here. No, we we'll use Iron Bimbi. There we go. Perfect. So there's our Ormus, and now we'll get our Skere. And it did take a while to get these... Uh, these are Lyrias, but we're finally... Oh, I forgot. We can use the... Uh, we can use... These guys as well, can't we? Okay, well... 
because it doesn't really matter what we use here, so we'll just go with the Illyrias. And let's see. We have a Norma here that we can trade in. So that'll work. And that is the shelter mission finished, everybody. So, really nice. And I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. So, this is your Colonel signing off. And remember, as always, that karma can be a real bitch sometimes. But, you gotta love it, don't you? Anyway, everybody, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.